Sound speed, camera speed, Miss Mitsumi, intro, take one. Hey everybody, I'm Derek Mazzoni. This is Sama, Seattle Circuit Music and Art. Our first on location shoot. We are at Womex in Porto, Portugal. We have some fabulous artists tonight, starting with um, Haragaki Mitsumi from Okinawa. Thank you for being here. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm so happy to be here. So honored to be here. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, let's start with some music, please. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm, I'm going to sing you um, some from the classical music, some from folk music, and originals, my originals too. So, the first song I'm going to sing you is uh, it's from the folk music, Uranami Bushi. The, the title, I mean, the meaning of the song is like, a, um, well, this is a teaching song, encouraging song, that uh, even if uh, we sometimes bump into in our life the big waves or strong waves, but if we have faith, uh, we can overcome anything. This is the meaning of the song. That sounds like a perfect song for the times for that we've time. been through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Aragaki Mitsumi. Hi. Well, how did you start in music? Why music? This Okinawa music. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, my parents are from Okinawa, but actually I was brought up in Nagoya, that is mainland of Japan. Okay. And when I was about maybe 18 or some, uh, 18, 17, 60, I don't know, uh, was um, thinking about my identity at that time, of, uh, that when I was in uh, high school, I think. Okay. 
so um, trying to uh, find my identity I was looking for something Okinawa and then I met Okinawa music well, well after that I went to college and then I started to do this music was there a particular teacher was there a particular like yes. um, in um, Osaka could you tell you was it because a lot of people start playing mm. and then put it away yeah what was it that made you mm. decide that it was going to be the thing like what well, how did it resonate with you well actually i after maybe five or ten years i was about to stop it because oh. but uh kind of boring <laughs> I, okay. I thought but uh i mean before i started my this music i really loved african music actually okay. and um uh, I'm looking for many uh, archives of Okinawa music, gramophone or something, and I found something really, you know, passionate kind of groovy thing in the past day, 100 years ago. Okay. And then I, it opened up my mind, and, it, and then I restart my uh, um, trying to learning and yeah. Okay. That looks like a very complicated instrument to play. I'm yeah. familiar with it, but can you tell us a little bit about what what does that instrument mean to Okinawan uh, society, to Okinawan culture? Well, this is um, it has long history. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think it's more than 600 or. Okay. I think it's um, Okinawan pop music or folk music is uh, really popular and people know it, but uh, there are some more diversity. Uh, like uh, classical music or so uh, it's very interesting to see that many people are going to school and and learning classical music or folk music or uh, from a specific teacher and then it has a long line of uh, teacher student teacher okay. student okay perfect yeah. perfect so there's um there's a scene in okinawa you feel like you're part of a a bunch of different musicians, there's support for this? Mm, I think so, yeah. Okay. Um, for example, music from Okinawa, or do you know that? Or they're really supporting us to, to show this music to the world, for example, in Womix, okay. of course. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Can we hear another song, please? Okay. So this is from the classical music, mm -hmm. which is more like a spiritual one. So <coughs> the lyrics is like like this um, the joy of life how can I describe the joy of today it's like a bud has just bloomed by catching a dew so the joy of life um, for me um, the highlight of my life was uh, the moment I gave birth to my child, actually, my daughter. So, how about you? <laughs> and I know that feeling. Yeah, so this is a Kajadifu Bushi from classical music from Okinawa, Utoduki Sabira.
When did you start uh, playing with effects and, and incorporating that into your repertoire? Two or three years, I think. Okay. Was it, um, was it just a quick evolution? Did you go to a concert and see this? Oh, I want to add that to that. Or was it something that you've been thinking about for a while? Because it adds a lot of texture, yeah. especially with that song when, mm. you're, you know, when you're talking about you mm -hmm. know, the, the joy of life. Yeah. that puts you there. So I'm just curious mm. how you went from there. Because it's not overwhelming. It's not like suddenly that's all you're hearing because mm. the, the, the instrument is still very much yeah. growing from that. So how did that come about? Well, I, I used to be just a student of a lear learner of this uh, instrumental music. Mm -hmm. And many times and times we uh, try to practice right yeah so in between the sounds I bought I had already hearing the sound uh, in the space okay so actually I first of all I try to do that uh, realize that with the musicians but you know it's uh, it's they didn't know what I'm playing here okay so and and I didn't know how to explain that so I started to make some, sorry, make some demos with PC, and then I started to do this with, I mean, by myself with okay. this, all the equipments. Okay, and it's working. Yes, I think you so. You like it? I love the record, by the way. Thank, Thank you for you. making it. Wow. Um, I I know that you're also improvising and you're working with other musicians. Yes. Um, how does that come about? Is it pretty easy? Just come in and jam, or is it more structured? Um, I think it's not like that structured. It's something like uh, my prior priority when I priority sorry uh, when I now when I play with musician is like uh, it's something like the rhythm of the breath mm -hmm. or something between the uh, notes or you know something nuance. We can feel each other when it when we the moment we play each other okay. the, the vibes you know. So I don't want, now I don't want to make it a little bit, uh, not like too much structured. Okay. So, so now I'm playing with the band of musicians who are very uh, good at improvising. And okay. Let's hear another song. I have a question, but I will mm -hmm. go into it later. Kay. Let's hear another song. Thank you. 
What are, what are some of the lyrics in that this song? One? Yeah. Um, as I told you, um, um, life is too too short, too you know, too much trapped in a swamp. So um, you have to take care take care of yourself, or uh, try to be yourself, or okay. kind of thing. Okay. Perfect. Your songs are so timely for where we're in. Um, what's the, um, so what has the last year and a half been like for you? Being a yeah. musician, not being able to play, what's that been like? I mean, actually I'm, I'm a teacher of Sanshin okay. and vocal. So usually I am a teacher, actually. So and when I get chance, I perform in a live show or events. So actually, well, in Okinawa, the situation is really, really bad. So many lives are, events are canceled and still now, we don't know where to go actually. So I did uh, this year, uh, one, maybe it's just two or three lives okay. in Okinawa. Okay, but are you teaching online, streaming? You have class, you have students? Yes, online now. Online. Mm -hmm. Are they just in Okinawa or are they all over the world? They're uh, from, yeah, of course, Okinawa and mainland or Europe, America. Great. Yeah, great. Yes. Um, this is what I wanted to ask you about a while mm -hmm. ago. So, most people don't know much about Okinawa. Yes. They just think it's Japan. Mm -hmm. And Okinawa has a very complicated history. Yes. Uh, it was just returned to Japan in like 1972, and it has a very large military base yes. there, which has certain problems. Mm -hmm. um, there's jets flying all the time, there's environmental mm -hmm. um, degradation. Mm -hmm. um, as an Okinawan musician, especially mm -hmm. playing this instrument, mm -hmm. you're, you're presenting your culture and your people mm -hmm. all over the world. And I'm curious if you could speak to that a little bit, like something that we don't know about Okinawa, or you're, you're creating this beautiful music mm -hmm. with this and adding layers to it mm -hmm. that are really interesting. Mm -hmm. So it tells me that the music and Okinawa is evolving. There's something going on there. Mm -hmm. If you could speak to that, that would be beautiful. In my perspective, um, well, I think watching my friend musicians, um, some musicians are intensively doing something resistance kind of song mm -hmm. with the lyrics, you know, with Okinawan language. Yeah. So it depends on musicians. And as for me, actually, I didn't want to do that kind of thing at the beginning. But in the process of uh, making CD, I was thinking, the first thing I wanted to do was that I wanted to be honest to what I'm hearing in my mind or in my, you know, in my head. And, you know, in reality, um, we usually, I mean often, uh, the, you know, aircrafts are very near. The sound is really scary. So uh, if I didn't put that sound in the CD, I was lying to, it was like it's lying, you know. 
Okay. So maybe that's my how I present Okinawa conflict or something. Okay, okay. that's beautiful. Thank you. Because I've been listening to the CD and I was trying to figure out where that haunting mm -hmm. um, sound came from. At first, I thought it was that the ocean, because it's an uh, island. Yeah. There's water around it, but there was something, another layer to it. Mm -hmm. So thank you for letting me know. That's beautiful. Can we hear some more music, please? So the next song is from a uh, folk song, uh, Nakuni Hantabaru. Uh, there is, uh, the theme of the song is like the passion of love. Thank you. 
That's freaking awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You have some serious skill. So a quick question. That instrument, um, when you, uh, I've had other Okinawans on, Okinawan artists on, and there's always like a bunch of them. How many do you own? You, you forgot? Five or, five or six, maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is it a specific, do you have a relationship with the person who made it? Or is it more you just go to the store and pick one up? Um, actually, I was an uh, artisan. You made it too? I, mean, I was made. This is my teacher's. Okay. And is it, can you talk a little bit about it? Because one of the things I'm curious is that that seems to be an instrument that is in, um, you know, love songs and also in spiritual music yeah. and sacred music. Um, do you know much about the history of the instrument and, and can you speak to how, what role does it play in Okinawan culture right now? I mean, now, nowadays, uh, many, many people uh, can buy sanshin or it's like more like commodity, okay. you know. But uh, in those days, about maybe a hundred years ago, more than that, uh, used to be, there used to be a Ryukyu, Ryukyu kingdom, right? Okay. So, in those days, sanshin is something more like, you know, many people cannot touch, even touch. Oh, something okay. like that. So only uh, the the people who who is in the court can have or play. Okay. Uh, so after uh, maybe World War World War One or World War Two, things are more to ordinary people. Okay. So 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 we can now we can buy or touch or play very easily every oh. day. Okay. So things are really changed. Okay, that's good to yeah. know. Thank you. Um, can we have one more song? Okay. So this is also from classical music, Chijuya uh, Bushi. Um, you know, in this time of COVID, um, many restrictions. So we cannot freely uh, uh, cross the borders or oceans, right? So this is, uh, if you have someone who, who is far away from you, but miss, miss, them, miss each other so much, so this is a song for you. Um, even if we are far apart, we don't have to worry because we share the same moon. <laughs> Chijuya Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I look forward to welcoming you to Seattle and um, spending some time. To. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thanks one and all. This is awesome. Cheers. Thank you.